Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to the Sokolov Sophistication Escalation. This is level 1 to 5, it's set in Marrakesh. My name is Mr. Freeze, 2244. But this one we're going to, first level, we're going to start as undercover as the food vendor. We're going to take our syringe along with us and our coins. So again, it's, this is a very, very easy uh, escalation overall. Uh, the first four levels are very, very repetitive and uh, it does start to uh, get on your nerves really. But at the start, we're going to go and come over here with our coin and throw a coin just in that direction over here as you crouch behind this this thing. I don't know what it is on the left. But as soon as everyone has their backs turned and the left guard turns around, we're going to stab this shopkeeper in the back with the, uh, with the syringe and that will take care of the, the target and we can head to the exit and complete level 1. If that doesn't work for you, I would advise you to just bump into the shopkeeper and wait for him to walk away and you'll have a perfect opportunity to take him out uh, with that syringe and, and no problem. Uh, so uh, I did that just to, it's a little bit faster and uh, it should work for you anyway. So that's the Silent Assassin rating for level 1. And for level 2 we've got an additional target so we're going to keep the same items and start in the same location. And then all we're going to do uh, from the start this time is go into this room over here to our left. And then once we're inside, we're just going to uh, create a distraction in here by throwing a coin just there in that direction. If you do it any closer, you don't want to you distract someone else, so that's why it's important to always throw at the end of the room. The target is going to come in the room and you can take them out whatever way you want. I chose to use the pistol to shoot them in the head because it's nice and quick. Take him out any way you want to in any disguise, it doesn't matter. And then we're just going to drag his body in the crate uh, just in case uh, we get spotted. His body gets spotted, I should say. The next one is just uh, the same as we did in level one, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to bump into him this time to show you what I meant by at the end of the level one. So I'm going to bump into him, and this is what I'm going to do the guard is going to go away from his position, the shopkeeper is going to walk away. And uh, it will give us it momentarily. It's going to give us a perfect opportunity to take him out stealthily. So when we're in finally uh, behind all cover, we can just stab him with the uh, injection, and then again head to the exit, and we are complete to full level two. Again, super easy. Uh, it does this whole escalation is very repetitive, like I'm, like I've said. But uh, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Only level five is uh, really different compared to the rest of the other levels. They're starting to make a habit of changing level 5 to completely... I mean, I, what I don't understand about these escalations is it's supposed to be escalating the, uh, you know, the difficulty and all that kind of stuff and escalating extra targets and all that kind of stuff. And level 5, they just keep changing it completely. And I don't understand really what understand how that's an escalation if you keep changing everything for level 5, but never mind. Level 3, we're going to bring along our breach charge this time instead of our injection. And uh, from the start, we're going to head over here we've got an additional target now and we're going to pull out our breach charge once we hide behind this uh, door and we're going to throw it just in the corner of this room the first target is going to come in the room again we're going to shoot him in the head making sure we close the door first just pop him in the back shoot him in the head strangle him do whatever you want but we're going to dump his body and we're also going to take his disguise as well just in case Next step is um, leave, uh, pr pick up that propane tank that's in the corner of the room. You can leave that other breach charge there because we don't need that anymore. And uh, we've still got a breach charge in our pocket. So go in your inventory when you're at this location and drop the breach charge out of your inventory. And it will drop the, uh, the propane tank at exactly the same time. Blow it whenever you want to and it will take care of both targets. And that will complete level 3. We've just got to head to the exit and that will complete the silent assassin for level 3. Like I said, it's super easy, um, and you should have no problems with this at all. So there's your 5 star rating, Son Assassin, for the Sokolov Sophistication.
And for level 4, we're going to bring the same items. Uh, this time we're going to bring a lockpick as well, apart from the co uh, instead of the coin. So instead of the coin, bring your lockpick and your breach charge. That's what I'm trying to say. And then from the start, we're going to come over here and do exactly the same thing as we did in the previous level. We've only got one additional objective, is to uh, you know lockpick a safe and grab the item out of the safe, which is an amputation knife. But apart from doing that, it's, this level 4 is exactly the same as level 3. So we're just essentially doing the same stuff. Like I said, it's repetitive. So we're just going to shoot him in the head there, dump him the body in the crate, and then take care of uh, the other two targets the same way as we did in the previous level, grabbing the propane tank and the disguise. And remember, going up to the two targets, and then going into your inventory and dropping the breach charge out of your inventory. And then blowing up. And then all we've got to do is one more objective, we've got to just lockpick a safe. Again, it's just really, really simple. It's just in here. It's the maintenance room. And once we lockpick this, pick this door, there's going to be there's uh, going to be a safe inside. inside. There we go. You can use a breach charge on this safe if you want to. If you wanted to pick it up from that little room. But uh, you just use the lockpick. It's no big deal. So once we've grabbed that amputation knife, we're just going to head to the exit and that will complete the Silent Assassin for level 4. Now this is where level 5 changes things. Uh, we've got the same targets and uh, what we need to do is take out all three targets with the amputation knife while dressed as the printing crew. So we'll be in the printed and crew disguise as we take all three targets out with the amputation knife. Now it says it's adding uh, adding or removing things from this uh, from this left this escalation, but I don't understand what they've moved or removed because everything appears to be exactly the same as it was before. So I don't really know what they've done really to, in regards to that. But we're going to start in the bazaar entrance. We're going to have our lockpick and our breach charge. We don't really need the breach charge. You can bring your coin if you want to. Um, but I chose to use the breach charge because it was already in my inventory and I, I was just lazy. <laughs> I've got no excuse. So from the start we're going to head all the way over to this location so you just follow where I'm going. It's going to be in the corner right here. This is where the printing crews uh, the people are going to be. We're going to trigger this conversation. Uh, the guy in front of us is going to be uh, putting on a, put up a poster and he's going to be walking away and we're going to create a distraction to get his disguise because that's the disguise we're going to need. So once he walks around the corner, we're going to hide in that room to uh, our left. And we're going to take his disguise. So just run around here and go into the room on the, here on the left. The printing crew guy is going to stop right in front of the door, so you don't need to worry about uh, you know mistiming it or anything. But as soon as he's like in front of the door, we're just going to throw the bridge charge in the corner. Or the coin, if you brought the coin along with you. And the printing crew guy is going to come in. We're going to close the door and subdue him. And once you've done that, just drag his body in the nearby crate, which is in the room, and then take his disguise. So once we've done that, we can now move on with the objectives. And first of all, we're going to need to grab the amputation knife first. It's in the same location. I figured if they were going to move or remove something, they were going to change the location of the safe but they didn't even do that so I'm not completely sure what they added or removed or changed uh, in regards to this level to make it harder but we're just gonna lockpick this room watch out for this guard here as well um, he does tend to just stand there like an idiot and then he will eventually move out of the way like that there you go but we can lockpick the door now if you breach charge this door, by the way, you'll wake up that waiter that's next to us, and uh, he will spot you uh, lock picking his safe. So I don't advise breaching that door. You can breach the safe, but don't breach the door. So once we've lock picked the safe, we're going to grab the amputation knife, but make sure you put it away, otherwise you will get spotted with it in your hand. And then once we've done that, we can head over to where the targets are. All three of them in the same location. And we're going to just do the same thing we did, we did before in the previous level. We're going to bump into that guard to interrupt the conversation. This guard in front of us, we're going to take him out uh, second. So we're going to leave him for now. But once the shopkeeper is just starting to walk away and we're in cover, we can crouch and then leap over this wall. 
pull out the amputation knife and just throw it at the target's head like that. And uh, don't forget to retrieve your amputation knife and drag his body just behind this door very right here. When you put the amputation knife away, we're going to grab the, the gun and just drop it so uh, it doesn't cause any distractions or like that. And then we're going to crouch, run back out of here and leap over the wall. Now this guard is going back over to where that little room was. So we're just going to slowly follow him and just do the same thing as we did in the previous levels to get him out of the way. And then we can take care of the shopkeeper, which is super easy after this. The same thing as we did before, hide behind this door and throw the breach charge in the end of the room. If you do it faster than I did, you wouldn't have to go and do what I'm doing right now. I'm picking it up and opening the door and re-throwing it, but this is what I had to do because I wasn't fast enough. Too patient. But eventually we do get his uh, attention and he does come in the room and then we can again take him out with the amputation knife just like we did in the previous target. And then again, we're going to hide his body in the crate. And then we're going to take care of the final target, which is the shopkeeper. And uh, he's quite easy to kill as well. He's very conveniently having a cigarette break just over here. And if we take him out with the amputation knife, uh, we won't get spotted or anything like that. His body won't get spotted. So we can leave his body there and then run straight to the exit. And that will complete this entire escalation. In my opinion, this wasn't a very good uh, escalation overall. I thought it was uh, repetitive. I thought it was um, its too easy, in my opinion. And there, there is some escalations that are very complicated, but they are also are, are enjoyable because it's the finding out how to do a technique that's what's fun about it. And once you've cracked that technique, it's its super enjoyable uh, when it comes to doing that. But this one, it just seemed very, very simple to me. But uh, I don't know, it, your opinion might be different. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this escalation. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to hit a like on the video if it helped you out. And subscribe here if you are new to the channel for more escalations and challenges of all the way across Hitman. I'll see you in the next video guys. Cheers.